Let's talk about the Bosch GSR GSR ATV60. That is a mouthful. When I started my woodworking business, I did some research as to what tool manufacturer I wanted to buy into. It's not so much the machine you're buying, it's more the battery system. Depending on what kind of battery you get, the battery costs just as much as the machine itself. So I wanted a tool brand that was versatile. Uh, I wanted it to be a pro brand, something that I had experience of, something that I knew was going to be good. It didn't really make any sense for me to choose a tool manufacturer I never used before. GSR. What does that even mean? Generic space robot? When I worked as a carpenter, there were two brands that we used the most. It was Festool and it was Bosch. Festool, in my opinion, is very expensive, but also very impressive. Are you from space? <laughs> Bosch on the other side, fairly priced and reasonable quality. It is a professional brand. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. Most people will be very happy using a Bosch. Me included. I will be very happy with this, I am sure. 18B, it's the battery kit. Obviously. I wanted to find a model that did everything I needed to do for a reasonable pr for a reasonable price, and that in my case is the Bosch GSR 18B-60 FC. That is uh, FC. Foot candle. Fingers crossed. Ah, flexi click. So the Bosch the blah, 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 comes in at 750 bucks. Now you might ask yourself, how in the world is that a reasonable price for a drill driver? Well, let me show you what you get. <laughs> Obviously, the housing. This is how you use it as a driver. You just put your bit in there and off you go. And you can put your bit holder. Oh, what? Is it supposed to do that? I don't think it's supposed to do that. Why would that be a feature? Why? You can't put a bit in there. Oh, yeah. it's meant to. And this little ring thingy locks it in place locks it in place and you just slide that thing back to <sighs> fyi this this is not included you would think that for 750 bucks they would include some bits they don't two gears strong and slow and then you got the second gear, which is quick and not as strong. Then you got this, the ringy thingy. If you have it on the lowest setting. So it's kind of a safety feature. If you're, um, if you have a bit in here. Oh, sneakity hoop. Okay, yeah, you cannot. But anyway, if you don't want your screw to go too deep into the wood, you put this on the lowest setting and when the resistance of the wood is too much for the this setting, it will just stop. It is best explained with this. Here, right, so imagine I was screwing away. It, you know, stops it from going deeper, kind of. Uh, number 20. You can still do it. And drill, it should not stop. Yeah. If you have it on the second gear, I can resist it. On the first, I cannot. So, slow and strong. Feels really nice. I must say I'm very impressed. The quality is really nice. The handle is very, like, this is probably very much up to personal preference, but I much prefer the handle on the Bosch tools uh, in comparison to the Festool. Festool has a wider grip, which does not suit my hand at all. This, very comfy. And I also love the fact that this is very compact. Ground surveillance radar, that's it. 
You also have your regular drill chuck. This is really sturdy. This top part is made out of metal. And this is plastic. This is like the flexi clicky thing. Like, however, it feels very sturdy. It's heavy in a good way. I usually don't like tools when they're too heavy, but this feels sturdy and also very easy. I first thought it was called easy click, but it's called flexi click as we learned. You could probably fit a 12 millimeter drill bit in there. 12 millimeter, that's half an inch. There's not much to say. It's a drill chuck, like, like, on to some more exciting stuff is this right here. You can get really up close and personal with this one. Put the flexi clicky thingy on. You now have it off center. You can also put it like in any of the directions that you would like. Just loosen this, this here, loosen that, twist this, find the groove, clickety flip. And now it is off center to this side. It is a lifesaver in certain situations, like if you're in a cabinet or like um, under the sink. It has a very niche, but also very life-saving capability. It is good, but I would say this is a bit overrated. I worked for six years as a carpenter. I was dependent on having this maybe twice. This is a gadget that you pay for because it's really cool and you're addicted to tools and you feel like you must have this, but you don't. <laughs> On to the next thing. And this is the reason why I say that the other one is a bit overrated. And it is this piece right here. Oh my God. I was just gonna say how easy the clickety flip thing was. Right there. That is amazing. The only reason I used this is because it's a bit, hmm. That is the difference between the two. I bought this mainly because of this. This kit. Absolutely brilliant. However, okay, let's compare this to Festool again. Festool version of this, you can attach the drill shuck to the, the thingy. You cannot do that on this one, or can you? You probably can't. Can you? I will probably break this. Jesus Christ! I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Again, like, that could be a lifesaver. However, like on the Festool version, this attaches to this in a very neat way. This, you're probably not supposed to use it like that, but you could. You get rip. If you get a drill bit that has the hex shape, it will fit in there and you can drill using this. So what makes this in my opinion, better than the Festool T18 basic. They are, they're both priced at 750 bucks. So what is the big advantage of getting this? This is the reason why I chose this exact model, the Bosch. Again, align it with your clickety flip and voila. You now have a drill hammer. How neat is that? What does GSR mean? Gunshot recipe. This just makes this even better. I bought this for all the other gadgets. This is just a bonus. And here's the caveat. This is included. So you get everything that Festool has to offer, but you also get like, I hope this was to any help for you. If you are looking to buy this, uh, I mean, go for it. If you come so far that you go to YouTube, you watch my entire video just to figure out if this is good for you. I mean, you already bought it. You already made your decision. 
This whole video has just confirmed what you already believe to be true. If you decided you wanted to buy it, you probably will. If you decided you wouldn't buy it, then this probably hasn't sold you for like, I don't know. This is just what I thought about it. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I thought it made a fun video, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to work. Let's talk about the flaws. So, the name. Have you gotten the new Bosch GSR 18B-60 FC? Oh my god, it's my favorite machine! Said no one ever. Have you got the Bosch with the flippity-click? 